There are three essential ways to use AI or LLMs in general. You have uh, AI as a tool. Imagine summarize my paper or extract data from this website. There is collaboration. Imagine when you go to the chat interface with ChatGPT and you ask it, look, help me work to this essay or to this problem. And you go back and forth for a while until you get to something that you're happy with. And there's also agents, which means the AI is at the center of the decision-making process to solve a task for you. And it has access to some tools that might help it solve that task. But I think there's a fourth way that probably represents the most interesting version of working with AI today. And that is as a semantic transformation layer. So what do I mean by semantic transformation layer? I mean, imagine you have a paper, right? And you send that to an LLM and the LLM summarizes that paper. So the summary of paper, okay? And let's call that summary of paper one, right? Now, this is great. We can go to ChatGPT, send it a paper and ask for a summary in three paragraphs. But we can also ask it for a detailed summary with quotes. And we can also ask it for a four part summary with the intro methods, development and results of the paper, right? We could, we could access potentially infinite different versions of the same paper. So what I want to argue is that when we look at LLMs as a semantic transformation layer, what matters is not that we can create these isolated outputs, but we can create a space that we can navigate. So now we can navigate a space of different representations of the same input. And each of those can be useful in different ways, depending on our context, our goals, and a bunch of other stuff. Imagine uh, the best way to illustrate this kind of stuff is actually from a very cool YouTube video that I'm going to put in the description, which is called Climbing the Ladders of Abstraction by Amelia Wattenberger in the AI Engineer Conference. And she talks about this idea that is known as semantic zooming. And the idea is basically that you, for example, you can take this paper and you can orchestrate these different summaries in different levels of detail and you can use a little slider to navigate these levels of detail in the UI in a way that makes it a completely different experience of reading the same paper. Because you can, for example, read a one sentence summary of the chapters first. And then if you're more interested, you can zoom in a little bit more and read a paragraph summary of the chapter. And then you can go in more and more until you read the actual full paper. This kind of capability represents a shift from a traditional way of interacting with data and information because we're moving away from static forms of input and moving towards dynamically accessible abstractions thanks to LLMs. So I think that's pretty cool. Cheers.